Thank you, Najwa, for that very kind introduction. First, I want to congratulate my fellow honorees. It's humbling to be recognized in the company of such accomplished women. I would like to thank Bob We Met and Amanda Prasad for nominating me, and any of you who agreed with them. Thank you to all of you here today who are supporting the extraordinary work of the Girl Scouts. I also wouldn't be here today without my colleagues at Simpson Thatcher and the love and encouragement of my family and friends, especially my three children and my husband, Doug Evans. As I thought about what to say this morning, I recognized that the Girl Scout ideals of courage, confidence, and character have informed my life. When I first became a lawyer 34 years ago, the landscape for women looked very different. I didn't have many female role models in my profession to look to for tips on how to succeed, or even to know what success looked like. I did, however, grow up with two strong women in my family. My paternal grandmother was a teacher as a young woman, and later a leading expert in early American furniture. She was a force to reckon with. I was also so proud and in awe of my own mother. When I was two years old and my brother one, my mother decided she should be a lawyer. She went to NYU Law School at night and then practiced law in New York full time for the rest of her life. Thanks to their courage and confidence, it really never occurred to me that I couldn't be both a partner at a major law firm and a mother. I've also found it immensely important to do things outside of the office to keep me balanced and to find ways to build relationships within my community. For years, I've been devoted to the schools and church in which my children grew up and just a year ago, I joined with over 300,000 others in the People's Climate March as part of my commitment to the Natural Resources Defense Council and the environment. By working professionally with NRDC for the past 30 years, I've had a front row seat to the efforts of brilliant lawyers, scientists, and environmentalists who are trying to solve the critical and immediate issue of climate change. At times, it seemed there couldn't possibly be another hour in the day for anything other than my work, and perhaps our children's homework. Yet having what we might consider extracurriculars has deepened my character and helped keep me happy and focused. I've found that the busier I am, the more I'm able to get done. So I would encourage you all not to be shy but rather, when you see an opportunity that makes you curious or that inspires you, take it. But I wouldn't be here today if my work was how I defined myself. My proudest accomplishment is our three children, all of whom are here this morning. For those of you who know them, their courage, their confidence, and their characters are the proof that women can continue to develop exciting careers and busy yet balanced lives. For me, that aspect of my life, having a family to ground me, regardless of what was happening at the office, has given me the most joy. My hope for you is to look beyond yourselves. You do not have to have one career or one label. I am many things, including a lawyer, environmentalist, foodie, colleague, mentor, friend, sister, wife, and mother. Find ways to be a part of your community, whatever that community may be. Think about who your role models have been and strive to be a role model yourself, as my mother and grandmother were for me. Follow their lead in whatever you choose to do in your life. The world needs you and is waiting for you. Thank you.